Imagine reading out a poem aloud over and over again that can lead to various mysterious accidents and even a brutal death. Hi there, welcome or welcome back to my channel Knowledge Nuwa and in today's video let's discuss about the poem known as Tomino's Hell. Tomino was a little boy who resided in Japan. He used to write some gruesome poems that his parents did not like at all. After reading out the poem, Tomino's parents were not happy at all. After discovering the various gruesome verses that Tomino wrote in his poem, his parents locked him in a cellar to punish him for his poetry. They refused to give him food for days. Finally, Tomino suffered from bronchitis due to cold and humidity and ultimately led to his death. It is believed that Tomino's spirit got captured in the verses of his poem. If you read the poem aloud, it will evoke a curse that will lead to various accidents and even death. Let us look back into the life of Tomino. Tomino had a very depressing childhood. He was not some crazy child. In fact, he was born with a serious disability of his legs and had to live his life in a wheelchair. He wrote his poem in anger towards his condition. He wrote down how it's like to spend life in a wheelchair and how frustrating it can be. After this story came out to public, many people tried to read out this poem aloud. Tomino's hell gained infamy when people started to see the losses around them who read it. In 1974, Japanese director Terayama Shuji wrote and directed a movie that translates to To Die in the Countryside. This movie was greatly inspired by the story of Tomino's poem, but he died under mysterious circumstances very soon after making the movie. Many people believe the reason for his death to be Tomino's curse. There were also rumors that some students of university in Japan died after reading this poem. Even a young girl is said to have died shortly after reading out this poem aloud. People believe that even if you don't die after reading out this poem, but you can suffer from serious consequences like falls, permanent loss of their voices, sudden illness and even driving accidents. All of these cases allegedly had one thing in common. They all read Tomino's hell poem out loud and suffered the consequences. The victims were all normal happy-going people like you and me who simply tried to read out the poem aloud. However, the effect of Tomino's poem is slowly decreasing. There was a famous trend in Japan during the 1980s where friends were filming each other while reading out the poem aloud. And most of the time there were no serious consequences of reading it aloud. A perception developed in people's mind that the curse does not affect people in random. However, it strikes those people who were involved in criminal activities. Even today in Japan, the elderly people will not talk about Tomino's hell or even mention about it. They will stop you if you talk about the curse poem. They still have the fear that it will curse them. You can find Tomino's poem easily in the internet today. But if you intend to read it, keep one thing in mind, don't read it out aloud. That's gonna do it for today. If you like today's video, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive all future updates. And I will meet you in the next one. Thanks for watching.